Hello everybody and welcome back to Danny and Sons Real Tech Mod Pack. So as you can see I've got my second chicken. I think you can see him just there. Little baby one. Managed to get him from an egg. So what we're gonna do today is we shall get the um some we're gonna do some more magnetic craft I think today. As you can see I set up lanterns all over the place. That one's out actually, I don't know why that's out. I'll have to go and see if there's a problem. Should be okay. But it's definitely not powered. So what we can do to improve the power of this if it's a power problem and I don't think it is because these basically use one RF oh that's the problem there now why would that be a problem it's broken the coil's broken anyway so what we're going to do first of all is make a feeding trough I think we can make a feeding trough from magnetic craft uh, let me see if I can repair this thing I should have some bits and pieces in one of these to there we go I made some insulated low voltage um, wire so we can actually go and use that one a bit strange I'm surprised that broke unless something's flown into it or something like that so we go to that one and we just right click that and then we right click this one. Oh, yeah that's strange isn't it? that's now linked in and there must be another one broken as well because I can see they're still not powered up. I can't imagine what it because these are all powered. That's powered. That's not powered. <laughs> oh, maybe it's power. Maybe it is, but we haven't got enough power. Now we can sort that out. I think we better do that first. Because I've been very busy collecting lots of industrial hemp. I think I've got some. How much have we got in there? Oh, we've got enough for a stack. Good. And with this stuff we can make, let's have a look at the uses of this. I actually haven't got the bits I need. Let's get the bits out of there. I think it must be in the bag as well. Oops. These. And some sticks. Oh, and the hammer probably. No, we don't need the hammer yet. So let's look for the recipe of this one. Basically, eight industrial hemp fibres around the stick will give me eight of these. So, and then the use of this we can make these at windmill sails we can make seven at the moment so I just need another four which is half a stack of stuff but it doesn't matter we can actually do it even without the four and between episodes I also made some um, I think we just right click these onto this actually I don't think it matters which side does it matter which side yes maybe it does <laughs> okay so what I can do here is put down some scaffolding, which I also don't have with me. But I should have some scaffolding. This is actually scaffolding covered lav ladders. Very simple to make it, this one. Uh, the recipe for that was basically a ladder with some scaffolding. Scaffolding was this recipe here, and it makes six. So I should have three more scaffolding around somewhere we could actually make the other ones as well I don't see it in there maybe it's no I don't see it for the time being probably just means I'm being blind hopefully I can get up to this thing over here easily enough and put it on the front actually let's put the scaffolding down here So maybe now we can just right click these on. I think we just right click these onto. Just right click them on. No, go on, get on there. Maybe I have to hit the right bit. I thought you just right click these. I'm using the right thing. Must be. Ha! Now there's a challenge for me. You can actually go down the ladders on this one as well. <laughs> Quite sweet. Oh, but I don't know what I'm doing wrong with this. You can't not be stationary. Oh, maybe I. I'm sure you put them on with the thing in there. Maybe I'm not close enough. Hmm. hmm. How do we do that then? Four pieces of wood is probably not enough, but let's take some cobblestone. Let's just come out a bit from here. Of 
what's the disadvantage for this? So it breaks the um, the pathway. Oh yeah, that one. I did it that time. Um, oh, I'm just aiming in the middle of the thing. So that's now going faster. Just need one more of those. And that might. Yes, there you see now it's lit up the different. All the lanterns are now lit up except for that one over there. Why? <laughs> that's a bit strange. Is it because it's got. It's not a relay? Actually, that's not too bad. The stir blocks it and actually spread onto there again. It might be that I've. It might be that I've got three connections from that one. And it might not like that. Ah, that's not such a big deal. It's 32 block radius anyway, so that should be covered quite happily by there. So I'll do that at my own time. We'll just move it across and see if that makes a difference. And actually, I should be able to finish this off now. Because you see, as you see, I've been growing lots and lots of industrial hemp. Well, lots. Health in my water. I know the armor's. I think I've got the right armor on, so it's picking up magnetic too, so it's picking up for nicely. So we can just do the last of these, I think. Oh, there's the other scaffolding block. <laughs> Typical. So let's take these out of here. Let's see how much have we got now? Oh, I've got enough for a stack. That means I've got enough for eight. And I only need four of these, I think. So we need to make... So look, the uses of that, it's six. So we need to make three more of... Three more of these. Let's have a look at the recipe for that one. I think that'll do. Yes, I can count. Good. So we've got the last of the windmills. I'll put it on while we're doing it because it's sort of slightly ugly with it not being on there. So let's see if I can put this block down here to actually get into the right place. I'm not sure how you get onto this. I'm going to put this block down here. Oh, seed. Right. Can I jump up? <laughs> I should be able to jump up, good. Can I reach the middle? Yes, I can, good. So I should be able to right click it on. Yeah, and there we've got the last of those on there, which is great. <coughs> I'll leave those up there for the time being, that doesn't hurt. At least I'll be able to remember where they are. <laughs> oh, and I got a ghostwood sapling from the nether, and that's actually grown now. So, in fact, that would be one of the options for the weapons for the um, 31, yes. That would be one of the options for a weapon for a bow for the nether um, from the Tinker's Construct. Because Ghostwood saplings, or I think it's Ghostwood can be used for, for arrows, fletchings anyway. I'm pretty sure it can be. But I'm not going to do that today. What I'd like to do now is I'd like to get this automated, the processing of this automated. So we'll have a look at Magnetic Craft again, because that, that seems to be the best way in this pack. Magnet, and we want to have a look at. I think the first thing we'd need to do is we need a sluice box and a crusher. So that's the crusher, but we want the other crusher, don't we? So, what maybe it's one of these ones here. What's it called? Small steam, let's start this end. Refinery, oil heater, that's something that's not in the book, as far as I can see. Pump jack. Shipping containers, solar mirrors, solar towers, a sieve, and a grinder. It'll be a grinder we need to do first. So that's one diamond and one piece of paper. And the sieve is an iron mesh. So that's four pieces of cotton and four iron, five iron plates. So plates, no problem. Let's get the, is that the iron hammer? There it is, isn't it? Have I got the stone hammer with me? I haven't. So we need five iron plates, four pieces of string, 
and we need to get that hammer down. And I've got to f remember where I put the stone hammer or make another one. Oh, I know where I put them. Look, they're in here. Just take one of those out of there like them. We can do it. No big deal. Oops, try again. I don't know. Don't ask me what I did there. Because that should have worked like that. Right, those are those four, so we just need a diamond and two pieces of paper, and then we can make the two blueprints. I think those are the only blueprints we need. So the panel where was that? Shelving unit, small steam engine, grinder, sieve. Yeah, I th oh, the hydraulic press will be for pressing plates, which is one iron ingot, so we get another one of those. So we can make those up fairly easily. Let's make up the... Let's try this one first of all, the grinder. Let's do that. It'll give me that one. And then we want the sieve. So we'll see now sieve. We need this one, don't we? And we can actually do that easily if I think about it. Like that. And then, of course, the last one will be one piece. It will be one iron ingot. Which we can do like this. So now it's going to be grind it and then sieve, hasn't it? And I think these two machines can go side by side. Now I have a little bit of space out of here now because of the, <laughs> that burnt down house. So it might be a good place to put it around about here. So let's have a look, see what the size of this one is. What have I got? This is the grinder. Yep quite a large block and I think the output of the grinder is at the back and the other side of this let's put down the sieve here I think yeah it'll fit in there I think that'll fit in there I might need to move them around a bit when we've actually done this. So what have we got? Lots of machine blocks by the looks of it. So let's have a look. How many have we got here? It looks like one. We've got at least one. We've got, we've got some of those made already. That's good. Because the recipe is always changing. So that's at least three, four, f four of those. Five. And the yellow and black ones. This is a big machine, isn't it? Let's have a look in the, let's have a look in the book, first of all. Hopefully we actually got something that's correct. Let's start my magnetograph manual. So we want machines, we want the processing machines, so we want the crushing table because this box grinder. So this is the crushing table, is this? It's four by three multi-block. We've done the group, ten machine blocks. Copper coil. Okay. Eight eight corrugated iron. I think we'll do this one first. I'm not going to go and spend all my time crafting these in front of you. I'll go and prepare the bits and come back. So I'll see you in a short while. Well, I've just remembered something. I should be making a feeding trough for the chickens because the chickens are bound to have grown up. This is something else from Magnetic Craft. I'm not exactly sure how it works, but I know you put seeds in it. So let's take a stack of seeds. We've probably got a stack of seeds here. And let's go and put this down where the chickens are because I think let's get them breeded up a little bit and then we should be able to get a few f a few feathers is what i'm after isn't it and i'm not sure if i have to put the feeding trough inside or outside the pen i think we'll try putting it inside the pen can i put it inside can i not put it now oh I have to put it against oh but okay <laughs> i wonder if i can put some chicks <laughs> i don't know if it's going to work or not let's put that in there So we put this. Okay, let's not. I don't think that's going to work. I'm looking it out again. Oh, it is working. Look. <laughs> I got another little yellow chicken. Great. <laughs> so I don't need to do anything. It just works by itself. That was one thing that uh, actually surprised me a little bit. It was so easy. <laughs> that's not normal, is it? So 
Right, I carry on with my crafting. See you back, back in a short while. Well, the only thing that's slightly unusual in this thing that I haven't made before are these giant machine blocks, which is four light gold plates, obviously, hammered gold and tungsten nuggets with a piece of stone in the middle. Well, not difficult, and you get six for each one, so it's not that bad in terms of cost of materials. And the rest of it, I think I've got. So, 10 machine blocks, one copper block, Iron, iron great machines and stripe machine blocks. Is that a lot? Let's have a quick look at the rest of your book. Corrugated iron. Oh, I haven't made those yet. Stripe machine. One iron, seven iron crate, one cup of machine, ten machine blocks, and the blueprint. We've got the blueprint already, so I just have to make eight of these. That's actually the most expensive bit because that uses 64 iron. And of course it's night time. Before it goes dark, what I would like to also do is to put a, a lamp up. I've actually got it sort of prepared. I was wondering where to do it. I decided I'm going to do it here. Now what I want to do is I want to put, I'm going to use one of these wooden wall mounts. And they're a bit tricky if you don't know how to use them. So we have to hit the top of the block for it to point down, which is what we want. Now I've got to get up there and put that on. Let's do that actually. Should be able to do that from here. Yes, we can, I think. Yes, we could. So we need to put the lantern down here like that. And then we can shift right and click the cable onto that one. Right click, I think you turn to right click it actually. And you can go down, close the door, come out of here. And then right click this one over here. I've got to get to, of course. It's a bit dark, I know, but it shouldn't be a problem yes there we go and that should light up <laughs> of course it's not doing why not this one's not lighty and not lit either that's a bit strange never mind because the others are lit i wonder if there's a oh yes we lost that cable that goes over here haven't we what why now there should be a cable down here in that case it should have dropped down all right tell you what We'll have a quick sleep before we do anything else. So make sure no bombs appear too close to the base. And then we'll fix that straight away. It's a bit strange, they don't never used to behave like this, the immersive engineering cables. So, right click that one and click it onto there. And then they should all be lit up. Yeah, good. That's strange. There's a few of these cables which are behaving like this too, isn't there? So what we want is to put down these machine blocks. Get the machine blocks. They'll be at the bottom, as they usually are. And I think this is the one we want to do first. Just to double check. Can I see which one we're going to do? Expected machine block. Got grass, okay. Um... I think the best thing to do is probably break the, oops, break the glass first with that. I don't want to break the dirt particularly. I don't need that. Put the dirt back down again. Because we're going to get the odd seed, and these will actually grow back fairly quickly if I'm not if I'm not quick as this happens. So right. So 10 machine blocks. I think that's right. I don't think I think it's on the outside of that one. That's corrugated iron. This is the grate. So what have we got on top of this one? Is that another corrugated iron? I would say so. Could put the get rid of that one out of the way, and I think it's actually going to be difficult. The oh, wrong one, I think that goes there. So, we've got two more corrugated iron down here. I can't put it on, and then we've got on top of those, we've got these yellow blocks. Done it again. I don't know how many times we're going to do that. 
So there's a definitely a corrugated block underneath this one, and there'll be another corrugated one. You get the black one here. Yes. What's this one? Gosh, it's a bit of guesswork, isn't it? <laughs> That's a copper. That's a copper block in the middle. Let's get that one down here. Good. Now, what have we got on top of this? Looks like a machine block. Oh yeah, that must be a machine block. So we've got two more yellow ones that go down here. I thought that might happen. <laughs> too far up. What's that? Curry cast iron. That's iron. That's machine block. That's another machine block. That's corrugated. I think these machines are a bit too close together. These are machine blocks. So what have we got on top of that one? Looks like another corrugated. Corrugated, corrugated. I haven't got the one behind us. What's that? It's a machine block. Hmm. Okay, so it's found a, an iron grate machine block and expected a corrugated one at... 306, 65, 350. Well, 306 must be the other way. Well, I'd expect them to be the same, wouldn't you? So it expected a. Oh. Tell you what I'll do. I'll remove this one. It makes life a bit too difficult while I've actually got this one running. Because we can't see. And that's a bit easier, isn't it? So it's expecting a corrugated iron one here. And it's one here too, eh? It must be. Let's remove that one. Yes, that's definitely... <laughs> Found it. Uh, expected corrugated iron. That's that one there. Three oh six. What's this one supposed to be? Three oh six. Three oh six is that block. Three fifty is this one. Well, that's the right one. So it's found air. Um. I wonder if this one's wrong. No, that's correct, isn't it? Do you know, I don't know the best way to do this. It's actually quite awkward sometimes, isn't it? Right, I can't put it on that one, but I can put it on the one behind it. Good. I found the expected corrugated machine box. 66. Oh, hold on. Must be this one. 349, valley block found, expected, uh, found out, expected corrugated iron machine. That must be here. I bet I'm not getting enough corrugated iron machines. This is a thing, isn't it? And it looks like it needs two more machine blocks up there and definitely another corrugated iron. I haven't got any more with me. Let's go and get those sorted out. It's possible that because we could be doing the wrong recipe. What am I actually doing? That's the sieve. And this is the hydraulic press. And I'm actually looking up in the book. The grinder. That's the one we're actually doing. That's correct. So we're going to need some more of these. Whatever else. I'll get a couple more of these. We're going to need some more machine blocks. And we're going to need some more of these. I'm not exactly sure. As you can obviously tell. 
because of the solar panel being so wrong I decided that I better check it out harder this time so found out and expected the machine block 349 so 349 is probably this one here and I suspect behind that there's a corrugated mach there's a machine block try again oh that's actually correct you know what I need I need my some scaffolding let's just get the scaffolding down here And let's just put it on the corner. It might be the best place to reach stuff. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm on the ladder, aren't I? So that's expected. I think this is wrong. That one's definitely wrong. Look at that. So that should be a corrugated one. It's one of these. And then in the middle here, I think oh, we can put the yellow strappy ones on top of that. I can see the strappy ones going there and there. Ah, got it completed. Right, let's give it a right click and say, Look what this thing looks like. Oops, with an empty hand, <laughs> maybe a good idea. I better remove these as well. We have to do the this one. Yeah, there we go. So we've made our grinder. Wow, these actual machines do look pretty impressive when you think about it, don't they? Now the question is, have I got this as a sensible place? I think we will need power somehow or other. Where do we put the power? The power must be here, mustn't it? That looks like a power connection to me. Let's put a connector on it and see if it actually does power up. Because um, that was where the copper machine block was, wasn't it? Yeah, that looks like the control panel. Let's see if we can connect that up. The, con the connector's over there. It doesn't use any connectors. I think that's... No, it's not in there. It might be in this one. Yeah, that's the one. Fifteenth time lucky. Just checking the lights are all on. They are all on at the moment. That's good. That means we can carry on working for a bit because we can see. So now, oh, it connected automatically. That's smart. I don't know how it did that. <laughs> Oh, indeed, we have. So we've got voltage, no voltage. Processing. So that's voltage and power. And this must be input stuff. So let's go and get some input stuff to put some input stuff onto this. And um, I think I'll have a quick sleep just to be safe. So I would like to do the other machine. I think we've got time to do the other machine. If I prepare the stuff like I have done off camera. So we've got some copper. Let's go and some grind some copper. And um, did I leave that in one of these rucksacks? No, I didn't. Where did I put it? This chest. Yeah. Now the next question is how do we get the stuff in? This is a weenie bit of a challenge. <laughs> How do we get it out? What's this one do? That's that might be the input for what something, but it's hard to tell, isn't it? Am I putting in here power or am I putting in it steam? Tell you what, let's have a quick look at the book. The, this is the advantage. Uh, okay. So it tells us the different durations and it tells us what it's about. 
so we're not actually using obviously we're using so it's using okay 40 watts so it does need power so hopefully that since it connected there automatically without me doing anything can we put some stuff into this yes but it hasn't got any power yet so I wonder if I connected it to the wrong bit <laughs> let's assume that we have connected to the wrong bit can we take this out of here like that and put it into this machine no it doesn't have a slot does it, it doesn't go anywhere so it needs power now where do I power it is it here so anyway, let's take that connect for let's remove this this box now, of course I didn't break the connection the connections are being a bit weird I have to admit so we can use this box here as a way to jump the power across to the other side maybe I bring it back here and put it down I think it has to face this way yes so we can put the connector back onto this one ah, that joined up to there automatically very clever and we can possibly connect this one with the other connector onto this I would expect this to have be getting power of some description let's just get the out of there and it's either going to be on here or on the other side isn't it I thought the copper coil was on the other side and that's usually the bit that uh, has the connector okay ah so is that one good whoa so it's going up 60 watts oh processing is actually processing so it's working so in a second we should get out some copper ore and maybe other ores and we get the chunks don't we that's what we get So we get a copper rocket junk. Fantastic. How about that? Wow. Now where does that come out? <laughs> uh, I think it comes out here. My guess is it would come out here. So we need to make an inserter or an extractor. So let's see if we can do that. We've got we've got conveyor belts. We need to make one more of these things or two more of these things, I guess. I'm not again I'm not 100% sure never done it before it's first time so let's see if we can make the inserter this thing well I've got the ingredients so we can be able to do that I think those were iron nuggets we can indeed do that so now we have the recipe for this can we got enough for a second one well take it from here yes we have good that wasn't so difficult I made I made too many motors as normal I keep forgetting I've got to get those doubled if I run out of power on this I just need to add more solar panels or solar mirrors mirrors and they don't have to be directly next to the tower which is pretty awesome so I think if we put the extractor down it's got to face this way, hasn't it? So it's got to be this side, like that. And I think that's the way it works, does it? Yes, it seems to point out. So let's just get a conveyor belt out of here. And put one of those down. I don't know which direction it's going to go in. Let's get rid of that flower. My inventory is full. Here we go. <laughs> so it's coming out. Look at that. Fantastic. So the next thing is we build the. Oh, Are we getting gravel? Let's go and get a chest. Or at least make a chest. So we, everything can then go into that chest as an intermediate step. And of course, it means I don't have to go around bashing the things with a hammer, which is great. So now, I've got too much junk. Let me just give it a junk. 
Let's get rid of the seeds, anyway, but not all of the seeds I want to get rid of. Let's get rid of the others. I'll have to get rid of these because otherwise I've got zero inventory space as normal. Anything else I want to get rid of in here? Probably the probably the die. I don't need that for the time being. I was wondering why I could hear the lava, of course it's here. So that's that machine done, and I want to make a chest, didn't I? Running out of wood again. I'd like to get a wood farm going so I don't have to keep harvesting trees, but you know, it's not the end of the world if I can't make a chest. <laughs> and I think I need to put an inserter down to get this into the chest so we can do that as well. So this is these are filling up as you can see. So obviously I need to put the, ins the second inserter down here like that, and then that would go into the chest here or into another machine, which is what the intention is. And sure enough, straight away we got ten. What do we put in there? It's Twenty-two, didn't we? Wow. So the next thing we'd put down. Would be the hydro would be the hydraulic thing, but I think that magnet's probably that. Sorry, magnet, that is probably too near. So let's see if we can do it anyway. So we need the sieve. Oh wait, no, it's out of range. Fantastic. Now I've got no idea. Let's have a look at what the sieve needs. I bet you the ingredients aren't the right either, so we're certainly gonna need a few machine blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I can see straight away. Am I hot? Yes, I'm hot. Tell you what. Oh, there's a block of lava there, isn't there? I'll stand over here then. Ten. We're going to need some of those yellow ones we can see. The striped ones, that's not a big deal. So it's definitely 10 machine blocks that I can see down the bottom here. And then these are four, okay. So maybe it's not so bad. We've got four corrugated, corrugated ones, eight and 10 machine blocks. Okay, let's see if we can do that. Because all the recipes are set up, all I have to do is make sure I've got enough ingredients. The likelihood that I haven't got enough ingredients for the machine blocks. I've got two already. Oh, we have. Look at that. Just ten. Yellow ones. We need some yellow ones. I think we need another. What am I missing? Oh, got gold. I didn't show you this last time, so it's no big deal to do this again, is it? I do like this mechanism, right? it's good fun. Um, should be able to put those into there and take out some of those. What am I missing? Oh, stone. Oh, wow. Let's put some stone in there just in case we need some more another time. Right, so that'll give us 10 of those. Corrugated iron, we're going to need some of these. Of course we haven't got enough iron to do that one. I've got to go and bash some more iron about, which I'll do off camera. And we've got these machine blocks. Okay, we're gonna do that. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll come back in a second when I've made all of the bits for the next one. I think I've got everything. Well, we'll see. I've just about run out of iron, so if I've got to get some more, then I'm gonna to have to go and do some more iron mining, of course, which should be the next challenge bit. If I put this down the wrong way around, I'll just rebuild it off camera. So that goes there, you can see. Yeah, that'll be fine there. That'll go there. It looks like it's a row of ten of these things. Oh. Hard to see sometimes. Let's just. Yeah. So we need the corrugated iron ones that go underneath that. What do we do with those? 
leave them behind, did I? Oh. Just checking how many of these I need. I can't see. We need yellow ones in each one of those, so we need ten of those. That's good. We'll put those down first. Am I missing a machine block? I can't be. I've got to add ten uh, machine blocks. That doesn't look right, does it? Oh, I'm too near. Look at this. Okay. I'll come back in a short while. If not, yes, I'll come back in a short while. So I'll move the machine back a bit. Well, I moved it back two blocks. Ah, and these are not. These are I, these are these are machine. These are support columns. They're not. I just have a look in the book. So I got that bit chiller to the earlier, shouldn't I? Don't know. Anyway, so we can do that easily enough. We can make some support columns. are fairly cheap, from what I remember. So we need six. Oh, I want these. I don't know why they didn't. And I chopped up some bits and pieces. I don't need the wall either. I'm going to put those in there for the time being. Now, support columns. Are these ones? It makes two. And I've run out of. Let me guess. Lead plates. No, lead plates is fine. Iron ingots. No, it's fine. Stone. Oh, I should, you know, I should stop messing around with stone and get a stack of it. So we need six of these things. Good. And I think that's all we need. I'll put the hammer in here. Don't need that for the time being. These. And I think we've got enough of the other bits and pieces. As I said, it's sometimes just difficult to see how this isn't as easy as it, it is in some other mods to see. So basically the, these go down here at the bottom, we can see that. And the, the six I should have put down here. Right, so I think it's these three. I know they just need this. Oh, what's wrong with you? Full inventory? No, nope, not quite. Different armour on that doesn't help. <laughs> I've not got my magnetic armour on because I was getting hot. So I put on the other stuff. The what do we need here? Machine block, definitely. Is it going dark already? Can't believe it goes dark so fast. Let's have a quick sleep. Can't sleep there, we can sleep here though. Can't sleep on path. If you haven't if you haven't noticed that already. It just doesn't work. Because it's just one that a few a few I suppose it's about one pixel down, isn't it? So right. So that one is oh it's just a machine block as well, good. Do it like that, and then we need the support columns in here. I made ten of those. Found a uh, corrugated iron. That must be here. Yes. Four. Oh. And I think it's not complaining about anything, so it must be made. How about that one? Wow. <laughs> I think... I ain't sure how to get the stuff in here. Let's just try something. Again, it needs power. And here are the power connectors. Um, which, of course, are in a grip. Hello, skeleton. I got my bow with me. Haven't got good armour though. Miss me. Ha ha. Now I think that was makes a pleasant change, didn't he? He's over there, look. Is that a skeleton there or is that piece of stone? Got him. 
What do you need to drop? Two arrows. Nice. I probably should turn the auto jump off. So I think we also don't need water for this, do we? Because we've got power and that's processing. So what we can then do is just take some of the chunks out of here. 22. And we can put those in there. So it obviously just needs power. So we need to go and get a connector. We've got those already made. I think they're in this chest actually. Yes, there they are. I'm just I'm just thinking I think, how do I do connect stuff around? Maybe I can it's a bit difficult. I wonder if it needs to oh it looks like it's connected. Indeed it is. <laughs> well that's magic isn't it? So it's going to get power. It gets up to power. Um, I'm not sure how much voltage it needs. They're being a bit strange these connectors. I don't expect them to behave like this. But I don't mind them doing so because it is it's better than them breaking isn't it? So that's getting up to about 60 watts I think and then it starts to process. Yeah, indeed, 60 volts. Now, I reckon I've probably got to do more processing. Now, normally what we get out of this is gold, um, copper, and iron, I think. Sometimes we get cobblestone, too. There we go. So let's have a look around the back here. And I think stuff comes out the back. I'm not 100% sure. So what have we got? Let's take a few of these out of here. Just see if I could put them onto the back here. Because Can I put them on here? Or is that where they come out? So I'm not sure whether that's where you put them in <laughs> but you might not be able to press Q on it that one disappeared oh no it didn't it came ah oh, look I think they're coming out underneath here but I'm not 100% sure tell you what we do we can quickly make some inserters in fact we won't do that we'll, pick, we'll just pinch this one I don't know if I can make the inserts off camera can't I don't make many more than I've got at the moment. So I want it to go say this way. Let's just try it. I can't, I can't think of anything else to do. Just to try it and then see if we've got the conveyor belts which we have here. Now what happens if I put one of these on here? Does that go into this? Four. We've got four in at the moment. So that's 11 in total, isn't it? I think there's not one counting in the processing. Three and eight, yep. What did I do with those things? Did I put them all in? Can't have done then, can I? And they must be in this thing. Indeed they are. So that isn't the insertion point. Tell you what, try it this try at this end. I'm sure it's one of these two ends we have to do it at. If it's the, if it's this end, then I'm gonna have to rebuild this machine, aren't I? And set it up so that it's pointing this direction. Let's just put one of those on there. Now that did go somewhere. Now where did it go to? So that's... No, it gets stuck, so it's not getting inserted in this end. 
I've got two choices of just let's just we know it's working this way so that's ex definitely extracting it from there that's the right extraction point so let's just try it the other way around in that case let's see if we can extract it from this end stuck it, it must be something like this mustn't it if you think about it if we extract it going that way and remove this one on here that should then pull stuff out because it doesn't look like it's pulling it in that side well, it's certainly gone let's remove those out of there because they're pr processed put those away and there's nothing in here well I'm stuck I'll tell you what well, I don't feel like leaving that um, fin unfinished, so I figured it out. <laughs> so it goes in here, in this slot here, which sort of looks appropriate, doesn't it? So it goes in this slot, so you have to have the inserter up two blocks. And we can show that one. Let's have a look. In the machine at the moment, we've got two copper chunks. So if we put in, I can reach this, I think. If I put that on there, we should now get into the machine eight copper chunks okay and then they're being processed and the gold's going out now ah, you see it's gold coming out and but the copper chunks aren't so these are three slots output slots and they are here underneath it <laughs> um, so we come back here it's got three holes one two three each one of those represents a slot so all I need to do is get another conveyor belt that was actually my last conveyor belt. We can pinch one though. I think we can pinch one of these. Next problem is I'm going to figure out how do I get it out of here up there. I'm not exactly sure. If anybody's got any any tips, I'm willing to hear. Definitely willing to hear how to sort that one out. Ah, oh, did not feel to jump home. Huh? So we press that one down like that, that they should come out so which you can't see but you should be able to see those here sure enough this needs to be inserted into a chest I think it won't insert in the same level but I've just been making I've just been harvesting some wood so from from back there so let's just see if that works I'll just make some chests quick or a chest quickly I should not yes I do need to do it here I should take one with me, shouldn't I? And see if it will insert that into here. If we put this chest one block above, no, it doesn't work. So they're stuck there. So I'm obviously, going to have to push this, break this chest here, put it down one block. Oh, it's dark in it. <laughs> and sure enough. We should be getting the gold and the other stuff into into here from there as it gets processed as you can see i'm not sure what's happening to the rest of the machine it's all gone out so it must be all come out of here somewhere but it's time to bed it's time to go to bed well i said goodbye didn't i <laughs> that was a mistake let me show you why i've completed the process or set up the whole thing it goes right the way through to processing. Oh, I don't have to put that all. Uh, I must put it somewhere. Here we go. So that should give us a lot of copper. And then we can carry on. All we need to do, of course, is to start off, we put this into here like this. One of those that'll get processed that'll then come out oops it comes out here and it gets taken and it has to be behind and then the um inserter will take it up one level so that's how i figured it out you see it's coming up here the inserter's taken out of here and it's bringing it into the machine here as, as you can see that's getting processed coming out I can fill that in a bit now, can't I? 
And there you are, these things are actually being taken. Now they're being taken into this inserter here and being put through the um, furnace. As you can see it's smelting copper at the moment and the copper then is coming up and ending in here. So in a short while we should have two stacks. The only thing I haven't done yet of course is to automate the insertion of this. So I could put a chain and um, I'm not sure where it goes in to be honest with you. I suspect it's the same thing it goes in at the top. Um, how am I going to see that one? Let's put this scaffolding down here. It. My guess is I have to put it in the top. So I'm not exactly sure we're going to fit, but we'll try that. I'll try that anyway next time. And as you can see, it's working very sweetly. It's actually stacking up here. What have we got here? Is that gravel? I don't know what will happen to the gravel. But it's now running out of power seems to be running out of power or it's going to be running out of power so between episodes i'm going to say i'm going to build some more another couple of solar panels there so let's little power this thing a bit more i suspect this is running out of power has it 65 watts it's going down which is actually bad so i shall stand here and do this so that's it you can see the whole the whole plant. Oh, you can see most of the plant. Anyway, until next time, I'm definitely going to say goodbye. Goodbye!